So, on my way to work. Um, playing around on Facebook the other day, and I'm talking to a couple females and shit, and they're like, oh my god, who are you? A couple people added me on Facebook. Don't even know me. Just word of mouth. Oh, we got mutual friends together and shit. That's cool. So, I'm on my way to work. And I decided to tell you who I am. For those who don't know who don't know who I am. Not like you care, but I don't really care either, so just leave it at that. My name is Daniel Kevin Kelter the second. I'm thirty years old, thirty one years old. Sorry, I just turned thirty one. Originally from Flint, Michigan. I've been down in this area roughly two thousand twelve, early two thousand thirteen. Nobody special. I'm an Aries. My birthday's in March. I'm addicted to tattoos. Apparently. Got them everywhere. Tatted up. Um, I live in Bronson. I work in Middlebury. I drive 51 minutes a day because I love my job. That's devotion. I got morals and loyalty. I've been married. Uh, beautiful woman. With two kids, well, one hers, one her stepdaughter. I was due to get married again, August 5th, to another beautiful woman, beautiful, beautiful daughter, which I claim is my daughter now, Phoebe. Um, I don't have any of my own kids. Um, my daughter passed away when she was almost a year old. For those who know, for those who don't know, she uh, drowned in a five-gallon bucket of water at my bitch-ass baby mama's house. Um, destroyed my life, just destroyed it. Um, I don't have, I don't have very, have, I don't have very much family left. You know, I have a mom and some some brothers and shit, but they can all fuck off, literally. Uh, I lost a big part of me, uh, August. 24th, 2017, my, my father passed away. So when you ask about the tattoos on my face, it's pretty much all from my dad. Uh, I've been tattooed my whole life. And my dad disagreed with tattoos on my face. So when my dad passed away, I, I lost my mind. I started getting tattoos across my face, you know, everywhere, you know. I got another one. Right there with Kiai Ribbon. She's my daughter Phoebe. So that means a lot to me too. Uh, another one I just got. It's a rose. You're not going to understand what it means, but I understand what it means. And it symbolizes something for me. Um, I've never been in any real trouble. I, uh, I was looking at two life sentences back to back. Scared them both. You know. Went to court back to back, base of two and oh. So, get off my level. You ain't even know my shit yet. Self made. Um, I don't ask anybody for shit. I don't need a fucking loan. I don't, you know, except for the odds and ends bullshit. You know, fucking around with some dumb bitches. And I got my car, my, my car impounded, and, you know, the four paycheck and shit. Like, I had to borrow money to get that out. You know, I had to maybe borrow some money to make a week's worth of rent type shit, you know what I mean? But it's, it's all paid back, you know? I, nobody nobody can say I really owe them anything, you know? So, it is what it is. Um, I drink to solve my problems like everybody else. You know, if I'm having a bad day, I ain't, I ain't got a reason why I won't go fucking smash a fifth and a 30 pack, you know, drive around intoxicated. It's not right, don't judge me. You know, I know it's not right, it's not cool. It's not one of those things you're supposed to be doing. Um, I'm a welder in Middlebury. That's what I do. I love welding. So that's kind of my kind of my kick. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm not real fond of relationships anymore. You know, I've, I've fucked up enough of them to where karma has turned on and bit me in the ass about it. Smoke. New forks. 
can't see a phone fuck cams all fucked up. Neat works. But fuck y'all up, I listen to country music. No bullshit, do this out. Uh, it's a commercial, but whatever. Um, so it just made me think about who I am, you know. If I am single, ladies, yeah, I'm a fucking dog. I don't care. Y'all wanna, y'all wanna go out and do what y'all wanna do. Men are gonna go out and do what they wanna do. But y'all gotta understand, I can have whatever the fuck I want. It's not conceited. I just, I'm charming. I'm not bad looking. I really my tattoos, y'all call it ugly, but I mean, call it what you wanted, I guess. I'm confident. I got morals. I'm respectful. I don't treat women like bitches, hoes, cunts, whatever y'all want to call it. Like, y'all not just pussy. Like, pussy ain't the shit. There's pussy everywhere. So, for the women that are loyal and respectful, I love y'all. I'm proud of y'all. You know, even though y'all gotta deal with motherfuckers like me on a daily basis. But if I'm in a relationship, I'm pretty loyal. You know, I have my spurts here and there. If I feel like something's not right, you know what I mean? Shit happens, you know. But back back to where I back to back to me. It took me a while to learn who I am. I was lost for a while. And for that I lost a lot of shit. I mean, I did. I mean, I lost a lot. I mean, I even lost my life. You know what I mean? I, I got people that have vouched for me, man. I, I died right there in the passage, passenger seat of my car because I gave up. Don't give up. It's not worth it. And people that are scared of death, like, don't be scared of it. You know what I mean? There's there's no bright light. There's no tunnel. There's no flashback. There's no family. There, it's, it's blackness. It's total darkness. And that could be because of my religion, you know what I'm saying? It could be because I don't believe in this or I don't believe in that. You know what I mean? It's not, it's just not worth it. So just cut that shit out your brain. I mean, it's stupid. You know, I got, I got plenty of friends, mostly girls. Don't get me wrong. I got some homeboys too. And for them niggas that watching that shit, a couple of y'all can, can fuck off for real. Cause Y'all motherfuckers get wrapped around pussy and shit. Forget you got homeboys and shit. So, that's cool too. A simple text saying, oh bro, I'm busy. Would have been fucking fine. And you know who the fuck I'm talking to. Cephaly, Lee, Ridge, Mike. Uh, Walt. I love y'all, man. A couple people I might be missing. But, uh. That's kind of y'all problem. Y'all don't hit me up. Y'all don't holler at me like that. So, females, y'all know who you are. Y'all know who I am. I love y'all to death. Don't be afraid to hit me up sometime. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, it just made me think about who I am. And that's who I am. I'm not an asshole. I can be. I finally dealt with relationships I don't think I'm cut out for relationships I've done too much dirty in my life I destroyed multiple people I guess I don't want to say no names but uh I think it's just time for me to take a break On everything, I'm gonna I'm gonna sit back for a little bit, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna work on me some more. I'm in a slump right now. I ain't got money like y'all got money. So my phone, actually, I let my phone get shut off. It was more important for me to get back and forth to work than it was to pay my phone bill. Do I have the money to pay it? Yeah. Do I have enough money to pay my phone bill and still get back and forth to work? Yeah. But what's the point? Maybe my, if, if I don't call y'all, my phone don't ring no way. So, 
I'm gonna leave it at that. But uh, I'm almost to work. 50 minute drive. To cut this video a little short. Just want to say that's who I am. And learn who you are. Be who you are. Don't be nobody else. Don't don't worry about what these fucking people think. Don't worry about guys. Don't worry about what women think. Women don't worry about what guys think. You know, it's just called compatibility. You know, if you're compatible with somebody, if y'all got something in common, that's different. But um, take a step back and think about it sometimes. Honesty is key too, and, and, and be honest all the time, not just when it counts. Because if you're honest all the time, you find out who your friends are, and you find out who your friends aren't, and you find out who loves you, and you find out who don't. Pure honesty is it's like gold around here, man. <laughs> fucking tired. I need to go to bed at night instead of fucking around playing on the goddamn phone. But, uh, yeah, back to it. Um, just, just do you. Be you. Can't be nobody else. And don't get wrapped up in stereotypes. Don't wrap me up as a fucking stereotype. I hate that shit. I mean, I love it, but I hate it. You know, y'all assume I've been to jail, been to prison, and all that shit because my face tattooed. I'm six fucking three, 180 pounds, complete tattooed. You know what I mean? Don't get wrapped up in stereotypes. I'm not who you think I am. And honestly, you ain't who you think you are. So you need to sit back and think about it. Think about who you are. It'll change you. It'll change your life drastically. And I mean, it, it changed mine. But it took me to lose a lot to realize who I am. And I'm proud of what I've done. I'm proud of 